Today we're going to talk about installing the bus Ethernet gateway, the 48 volt power supply, and wiring up the configurable wired keypad. So you see in our two slot panel, we've already had the Romex pulled in, we have the terminal block, we have a CAT5 for communication so the bus Ethernet gateway can talk back to the Control 4 system. We also have the keypad wire. Now in each one of these two slot and five slot cans, you're going to have this divider right here, a low voltage and high voltage divider. This divider needs to be removed so you can install the 48 volt power supply. This is the, this is the bracket for the 48 volt power supply. This will fit in the two slot and the five slot. The five slot, you keep this, this piece intact. With the two slot, you will bend this. You will bend this piece right here at the score line so it will fit in the two slot. So now we're going to talk about the, the low voltage power supply. On the low voltage power supply, it's a pretty slim little unit. You've got input and output. The input is line, neutral, and ground. And then there's the output is the voltage plus and minus. You'll see this, there'll be a cover over these, this terminal strip to you know, protect yourself from being electrocuted. Just tip, so take that cover, set it aside. And with the bracket, with the bracket right here, the power supply mounts in right here. I don't know if you can see that or not. But the way that it mounts is um, the line neutral on the ground is on the, uh, is on the high voltage side of things. Now in order to mount this to the bracket, there's just holes in the back. There's two screws and the holes in the back and then that just mounts right into that. Now we're going to remove this divider right here. You just simply unscrew it, save the screws. In order to install this mount, the power supply mounting bracket. With this two slot panel, we obviously want to bend this back, and you can see it's real easy. It just bends right back there. And then we're gonna go ahead and use the existing screws that we just had, and screw it into place. Now that we have the mounting bracket with the power supply installed, we're gonna go ahead, and uh, we're gonna have the electrician wire from the terminal block to the, uh, the high voltage size of the power supply. Now that we have our power hooked up to the power supply, we need to get the output, the low voltage output of this power supply to the bus ethernet gateway, which is gonna sit right here in our, in our, in our can. So I simply just took a, you know, a black and the red out of the keypad wire, just some extra scrap I had laying around. You wanna connect it obviously to the voltage plus and minus. We wanna wrap it around, or route it underneath the power supply. We wanna mark it here uh, for the purpose of, uh, we need to install this ferrite. And so in order to do this, we can put it down here, but it's, there's a lot more room up here. So I'm going to mark it off here. I'm simply just going to take it and wrap it around once and then close it and click it together. Now we're going to mount the bus Ethernet gateway by simply hooking it on this side and clicking it like into place like the rest of the modules. We've got our Cat5 here. Let's go ahead and plug that in for communication. And then we're going to go and take the output of the power supply and connect it to the ground and the voltage plus of the bus ethernet gateway and connect those up and then you've powered the bus ethernet gateway. Now that we have wired the power to the bus ethernet gateway, we want to connect the keypad wire to the bus ethernet gateway. Refer to the keypad bus wiring document for the supported wiring recommendations. Here we have the configurable wired keypad. Now on the back of the keypad is a, is a labeled Phoenix connector that can be removed. So you go ahead and remove that and it e makes it very easy to connect the wires to it. On the back, there's, uh, there's four different terminals here, a ground, a voltage plus, that's going to be your positive and negative, and there's data minus and data plus. Now whatever color wires that you used back at the gateway, you want to obviously match here on the keypad. Now we've got it all wired up, we can go ahead and turn on the breaker and make sure that there's a power light on the bus Ethernet gateway and then go around and go ahead and validate all our keypads to make sure that they're powered correctly. 